Hello guys, welcome back. So, um, <clears throat> we decided to do a updated house tour. This is a uh, live, live update um, from Lynn's trip back to the Philippines. Look at the flowers, so beautiful. Thanks to our wonderful caretaker, look at Lynn's paint job. <laughs> half painted, half not. Um, but the flowers are all coming back, thanks to the wonderful caretaker that we have, Crystal and Christian, and there's my um, ficus tree. So this is the master villa that you're looking at. And I don't know why those coconut trees don't grow. And I love this ficus tree. We got that in the mountains from an old man who passed away. It was just a seedling when we got it, and look where, look at it now, it's really growing. Uh, this is the kitchen villa. I love that I designed this uh, this property uh, for investment purposes. I bought this property back in 2018 uh, for the purpose of an investment um, to rent out these units. Um, they're built as villas, you know, as like as like hotel suites, kind of like that. So this is the master villa. We handmade these doors. <clears throat> Everything in here, um, you know, Lynn and I. Put together we kind of put this room together kind of quickly and we never really updated ever since but we really need to hire a professional for the curtains and get some really nice curtains and curtain rod holders um, but um, you know we went all over the place looking for all the materials there's these beautiful large tiles um, my TV I missed my TV my bed so yeah so this is the master villa that we rent out um sometimes monthly sometimes nightly and the closet could use a little love uh the uh, the wood had dried after we put it together um i think down the road i'm just going to rip that out and just hire a furniture maker to come in and actually put a real real closet in there this is my beautiful bathroom it's so big we love it and um spent a fortune on this bathroom with all of the materials coming from cebu uh, my Kohler, full -size Kohler toilet, full-size Kohler toilet—you wouldn't believe how expensive the toilet was. And yeah, so we just designed everything to be simple, to be beachy, you know, to be nice, to, to have a luxury feel to it, but also simple, easy to clean. So this is our bedroom. We call it the master villa. And um, back out in the yard, Lynn just painted the patio, and uh, she really needs to put another coat. And she painted the limestone, but she should have painted all of it, but ran out of paint. Uh, they did a good job on the fence, on the wall. They put a new coat of summer white. And uh, one of these days, we're going to redesign everything on the outside if we end up keeping this property. <clears throat> the property is 3,000 square meters, and we bought it in 2018. And this is the family villa here in the back. And eventually we'll convert that bamboo fence to a hollow block. It's just too much to upkeep it, although it looks nice. And um, our Bayakubo needs a little love. But here's the uh, family villa. And um, yeah, you know, this is, this one doesn't get rented out as much, but it has two full-size beds and two single beds. And so you can sleep two people in each of the full beds and another single person up above. And then the stairs come out into drawers for a storage. And uh, yeah, um, this bathroom is not quite as big. We never quite finished the closet. We just got it basic so you can put some stuff there. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we got um, sliding doors to conserve space. And just set up just the same other bathroom, just a little bit smaller because the massive villa, the, the family villa takes up more more space, um, the more living space for the bedrooms, for the beds. But it's all the same materials. Here's a look from above. Um, the mattresses were the best mattresses you can buy and behold. Uh, Gala orthopedic mass, mass, mattresses. If you guys are wondering, um, I've had people say that these mattresses are more comfortable than the ones back home in the United States. And I have to agree with them. Uh, I have not 
yeah, I have a $3,000 mattress here in the U.S., and it's not as comfortable as the Gala Orthopedics in the Philippines. I forget how much we paid, but they were not cheap, but not expensive like here. Um, here's a look. It's getting dark. My beautiful yard. Uh, you should really take a look at some of our older videos so you can see what the yard looked like when in the early days. It was all limestone, weeds, you know, it was awful. And uh, I mean, we basically jackhammered that yard for three years straight to get it level, brought in a ton of dirt. And yeah, so this is just a... Um, so here is the front of the property. Beautiful flowers. It's getting dark. I really love my house. I designed it to be a rental property. So if anyone's wondering, well, why, why all these buildings and why you... It's, be, be, it's easier to rent like this. You know, they're, they're, they're villas. You know, you rent out a villa. So don't think of this as, oh, uh, my home. It's just a home. But yeah, it's our home, but it's an investment property. It's built to be a rental unit, to be rental units. This humongous tree. We got to cut that down. So that's the master villa that you're looking at. And then uh, we're going to go inside the kitchen now. The kitchen is really, you know, my pride and joy. It's where I spend most of my time when I'm in the Philippines in this kitchen. I love to sit here, um, open the doors. So yeah, I was saying you gotta, it, when you open up all the doors, you have this beautiful uh, cross breeze, so nice. Um, and here's my lovely kitchen. We have quartz countertops that we uh, ship from Cebu. Here's my living room with my TV, my couches. I miss everything there. And once again, we really need to get a professional in there to do the curtains. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I designed everything here that you're looking at. I designed, I already had the, the, the vision in my mind, what I needed. There's a small basic bathroom in the kitchen. And uh, we've cooked so many meals in this kitchen. We've had some wonderful times. Uh, nothing fancy. It could have been put together a little better, the cabinets, but, you know, we were in a rush at the time. Uh, my washer-dryer combo, paid a ton of money for that. My full-size fridge. Once again, we have sliding doors to conserve space. And we were originally supposed to put wood here for the back tile on the kitchen, but I ended up just finding those tiles instead. It was a little bit easier. Um, if I have some extra money someday, I want to do a different type of ceiling. Um, I want it to be more like a natural wood type ceiling with wood beams. And uh, here's a look at the road and the sunset. The sun always sets right over there with the trees. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We sit out here at night. We eat our dinner. Uh, we miss it. I really miss this place. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, all of Lynn's flowers. So this, this is the kitchen villa. It's double the size of the other rooms. And then a look over at the yard, beautiful yard. 3,000 square meters. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, update on our property. This is in real time, uh, what it looks like now after we've been in the US a year. Thank you.